Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Praise to be known, fully known, and loved by you. I'm fully known, and loved by you. So if you're new here, my name is Mariah Casey, and if you haven't already, hit that sub button. If you're OG, welcome back fam. And today we're going to be doing a Bible study going through Matthew. And I didn't want to start in Matthew 1 necessarily because it's more the genealogy of Jesus Christ which is incredible, but I really felt the Lord put on my heart to start in Matthew chapter two. And so when we go through, we're just gonna be pulling apart Matthew two, just kind of verse by verse, just getting a better understanding, just getting to edify not only ourselves, but each other while we do this study together. So I wanna apologize for a few things real quick. One is that I'm sorry I have not been posting. I just got back from Bible school and I just am transitioning into moving into a whole new state, a new house. Um, but I feel like I'm finally settled down and ready to keep posting. Uh, my second thing I want to apologize for is the lighting. I know it's kind of whack right now. I bought a ring light, so I no longer have to use my Dollar Tree um, phone clip lights. It's doing great. It's a little, it's a little sideways right now. Um, I'll take a picture of it and show you guys what it looks like. It does not look like it's doing too good. <laughs> It looks like it's falling. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be sure to put that in the video. So I'll be reading this in the NIV version. I did a poll on Instagram and it seemed that most of you guys have the NIV Bible. Thank you guys for responding. Um, and so we're just gonna be reading it in NIV. I don't have an NIV Bible, so I'll be reading it off my phone. So let's just, yeah, let's just get into it. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. So Magi, if you don't actually know what Magi are, Magi are the wise men, and I'm sure we've all heard about the wise men growing up, but they were actually scholars in astrological science and religious prophecies which helped them figure out that the unusual star shining above Bethlehem was pointing to what they believed would be the Messiah, and it was. And this was actually something that they were waiting for. They were waiting for the Messiah to come onto earth. They were believing that he would, and he did. It then goes on to say, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So... King Herod would be greatly jealous of any king or competing king that would take attention away from him, right? Especially one that people are willing to go and worship because the wise men are saying that they're looking for Jesus, they wanna go worship him. And so King Herod hears this and he's like, what do you mean? There's a king that people wanna go worship? Who wants to go worship someone other than me? You know, King Herod doesn't want anything to take attention away from him, so immediately it catches his attention. And not only did it say disturb King Herod, but it disturbed all Jerusalem because there was a greater king that was coming to rule over, over them. And then it goes on to talk about the prophecy. You can actually read about this prophecy in Micah 5 too. And with that, we'll continue. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. So when King Herod calls the Magi, sorry, is this focused? So when King Herod calls the Magi in, he's not, he's not calling them in to say, oh, I, I wanna go worship Jesus too with you guys. No, what he's actually doing is lying straight to their face. He wants them to give him information on where Jesus is to be born so that he can go send soldiers to go eliminate Jesus because he's a threat to Herod's ruling and governing authority. So Herod wants to kill Jesus. Um, and so all he's trying to do is get information out of the mad magi, which he's actually using here, which they don't suspect yet. After they heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. So the Magi are following the star. They get to the place of where Jesus is and they bring him three gifts, which is gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so these are actually very symbolic. And so 
Um, it says that gold was symbolic of kingship of God, frankincense was symbolic of high priest of God, myrrh was symbolic of the prophet of God. And if you guys want to learn more about these and what they symbolize and go into depth, I'll put a link down below that really explains it if you really want to hop into that. Um, but then it goes on to say that the Magi, <laughs> so the Magi had all received this dream. They all received it. It was to not go back to King Herod, not to tell him about where Jesus' whereabouts were, not to tell him anything. So instead they went back to their country, used Using a different route to get home. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, out of Egypt I called my son. So angels are ministering spirits and God sent this message to Joseph by this angel of the Lord to tell him you need to get up and you need to go now. So Joseph heeded God's warning that he needs to get up and he needs to go, right? He needs to peace out of there because Herod's coming to come kill Jesus, his child. They actually leave during the night and it wasn't too common back then for people to travel at night. So when they leave at night, it's it's so that nobody can see which direction that they go in. And then they end up fleeing to Egypt. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem in its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah. I hope I said that right. Ramah. 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 Guys, I apologize if I said that wrong. Weeping in great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because there are no more. So Herod was furious that the Magi left without telling him where Jesus was born. And Herod, not knowing that Joseph and Mary and Jesus had already fled to Egypt, had sent order now to go kill all the boys under two in Bethlehem. And then Matthew connects the grieving of Bethlehem to Jeremiah 3115, where the mother of Israel, Rachel, is mourning for her lost children. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in the place of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district, district of Galilee. And he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So it was fulfilled what was said through the prophets that he would be called a Nazarene. So after Herod dies, an angel comes and visits Joseph in his dream, telling him it's okay to go back now. But Joseph still feels super uneasy. That was my, my ring, sorry. But Joseph still feels super uneasy that Herod's now son is in rule. So he has another dream where he's told to go to Nazareth near the region of Galilee. And just as his birth in Bethlehem fulfilled prophecy, his childhood being grown up in Nazareth now fulfills the prophecy as the Messiah being known as the Nazarene. So that was Matthew chapter 2, kind of a breakdown of it. I hope this helped you guys understand it better. I'll continue to keep posting so that we can just keep updated in this Bible study. If you don't follow my Instagram, here it is, but be sure to check it out because I will be posting, updating you guys on what the schedule is going to look like for the Bible study. And I hope you guys learned some stuff. Don't be afraid to comment down below any questions or things that you guys want to discuss. Don't be afraid to talk to other people in the comments. Other than that, I love you guys and don't be afraid to like, subscribe, and comment down below and have an awesome day, fam. Love you. Bye.